uh, there were quite a number of musicians. I would have said it was a 30 or 40 40 piece orchestra. Um, and I was the only representative from the production that was actually there. The first track to be recorded was A1M1, Robert Farnan's main theme. This was divided into two halves with the join as McGowan opens the double doors leading into George Markstein's office. We've reinstated this track, the next track, A1M2, which starts as he awakens from the gas. <laughs> that uh, there was a live orchestra, there was a screen up at the back and the picture was projected through. And I think, in fact, the main titles was the first section that they recorded. And as soon as it came up, I recognised the music from the big country. The um, theme or the tempo was virtually the same as had been in the film. Uh, but being the uh, only representative of the company, uh, my first and only job as a music editor I certainly wasn't going to um, stop a recording session uh, of, of, of that size uh, on a concern, it was th although I knew that Pat was going to hate it. So they did the, they did the whole session and uh, transferred it all to 35mm mag. Uh, and then the following morning, I went and saw Pat on the floor and said that I think he'd better come and listen to this music. Which, uh, which he did. I ran it in, in one of the uh, screening, screening rooms at MGM. And of course, he went through them all because the, um, the theme and tempo was exactly like the big country. Uh, so sadly, I never saw Bob after that because Wilf Joseph was then called in. And we went through virtually the same, same scenario. Although the, the, the recording session wasn't uh, as memorable because there wasn't the, this 
similarity in types of music. But nonetheless, when, when Pat heard it, he liked certain bits and didn't like other bits. So uh, the situation was then that I had to, as far as the music was concerned, I had to do the best I could with certain sections that Pat had selected from either Bob's or Will's music, a uh, certain amount of library material, which I got from chapels, I think, um, and laid it, ab laid it up and dubbed them as such. We had to change various bits while we were actually doing the dub, uh, where perhaps I'd used a bit of Bob's that when it actually was placed up against the picture didn't work, so perhaps a bit of Wolf's went in. Um, and that was essentially how the first, the first two were dubbed. Despite having his main theme hastily rejected, much of Robert Farnon's incidental music was used. 